at the airport. Just got done with checking our bags. I'm really proud of myself. I did, um, I have 4,400 calories of food per day and, you know, 19 days of food. And I was able to get it in my two check bags. One was 48 pounds, one was 49 pounds. We cruise through, why do we have 14, 17 bags to check. All of them were right at 50 pounds for the group. And we made it to Telkitna. Doing a little tour before dinner. This is the view. That's the whole team. Can't, I don't know if you can, you probably can't see it from here. Denali's right here. We can't see the summit. It's now currently covered in clouds. I guess I can show you around the airstrip. I haven't shown you around the airstrip yet. We're getting ready to fly. This is the first wave. Looks like we will not be on the first wave. We'll be on the second. On the plane now. If you happen to need them, there's getting ready to fly. In the, uh, seat pockets there. Should be fun. All our gear in the yeah, back. Hey, we're all various Fearless bats leader. that done some crazy shit, so feel free to fuck us up a little bit. Alright. <laughs> Apparently we're getting fucked up a little bit, so I guess we'll see how this goes. On the mountain, made it. Uh, West Buttress, we are at the landing strip. We got everything prepped, so we're just gonna push. As soon as we get here, we got one plane. Coming over here. But this is not only, the base is just insane. I guess this is, we can see up to about maybe 11,000 feet so I have to think that there's about half a mountain more than half a mountain up there just waiting so and there goes the plane we're getting ready to push. Some other teams on the glacier and ready to push. We cash some food up there. Dug a hole up to about my nose. And then we put our extra food in it and stuff. So if we get stuck at the airstrip, we have some food. Tons of We're gonna start walking. Day one. Minute one, I'm tracking, so you're, hopefully you're tracking me. I just sent you a text letting you know. Well, Dad, 
Looks like it might be a undesired rest day. We uh, we have maybe half mile of viz at the camp. And then as soon as we start trying to push up, there's almost no visibility whatsoever. So we're still at camp A1. We've set it up a little better. Here's the camps. Hey dad, I'm doing a morning video. So yesterday we uh, didn't have enough visibility to push. That is not a problem today. As you can see, this is our trail right here, moving on up the side of this hill and around and over. So we're gonna follow the west buttress out. Then that guy right there is the summit. That one looks taller, but yeah, that's, we just can't see the summit. We won't see the summit until we get there. Then it's perfect. Hey dad, we're gonna step. I was just gonna do a quick video before we bounced. That is now our camp. It's just empty flat things. Hey pops. All the peeps. Wow. That's him saying hello. It's his hello sign in his country. Yeah. <laughs> um, He's from Guam. He's <laughs> Guam. The Guamines. Oh man. Anyway. Alright dad, on my first break. And the view is just incredible. I don't know if you can see it, but that's... Can I get a panel with me in it? Yeah. That's camp one right there, or camp A1. It's just here, that's straight out. And then that parallel with the incline we're climbing right now. So it's a good little hill. Beautiful day, you can hear that hill. And then... Now that kind of understands range, it might be a little bit different. We'll be at approximately 9.2. And um, that's right, right, um, Justin? Nine two is at the top of this, yeah. Yeah. So then we're gonna be at camp A2. We're probably gonna pause there for a little bit to make sure that the our second team is still coming up. And then uh, have Denali in the background as I'm talking. Chill for a minute at A2 and then start pushing up to 11. Our goal is to get to 11 today. And I think we're gonna nail it. We're going at a good pace. It's feeling great. And then, then that's how silly it looks when people are doing panoramic videos. <laughs> <laughs> Team two is having a little bit of problems. Um, apparently they're really struggling and they have mostly run out of water. So I'm sitting here, boiling up some water. Nick, you might see a pack, but no human. That's because Nick, or not Nick. Damn it, you're Nick. Okay. Justin, I was looking at Nick and saying Nick, but it's Justin. Justin was like, you know what? We gotta make it to 11, because we're gonna get stormed in tomorrow. So we have to be there. Otherwise we'll be in kind of an exposed spot and we'll just have no chance to get up to 14 in any reasonable time, which makes it so we either have the perfect weather and we can make a summit or we don't make summit. So we're kind of going balls out. It's gonna be vicious and we're gonna make this push happen. So we're boiling some water. We're gonna get four or so liters. We're gonna fill up all our waters so we can pass waters off to them if they need it. And then we're gonna get them up to the next camp. 800 meters from here or 800 vertical feet. We're so close. It's maybe half a mile, quarter mile. So yeah, anyway, refresher of the view with Nick involved. It's gorgeous. It's incredible. Right up there. There's this little saddle right here. That saddle is 11. We're so close. Pretty epic moment. <laughs> Nick <laughs> on the ground. He 
He's getting up. A little bit right now. Well, not Justin. Justin's never struggling. Um, it's easy for him, but for the rest of us mortals. My moment of glory. Whoa. Hey, bro. Hey, Dad. Oh, shit. I was kidding. You guys know Angel it? No. Hell no. Okay, fair. The three of us are going down to get the last two sleds. Um, we'll just rotate through. So we're all getting breaks. We're going to take it nice and chill today because today is a, a rest day. So for the three of us, it's a active rest day. Um, hey, Dad. Had kind of a dearth of action shots. So you know what? Taking a sketchy moment to do a sweet action shot. It's us going down Squirrel Hill. We made a cache up above Squirrel. Um, we're gonna pick up our skis. We're gonna head on down motorcycle. And then take a snap, go to bed for the night. And then head on up to uh, to 14 tomorrow. That's the plan. See how it all goes. Smash and shot though. Some guys behind. You guys in front. Going down the hill. Morning, Dad. Um, I think it's like day six on the mountain. We're getting ready to push to 14 today. Looks like I'm the first one up. No one else is shaking off their tent. And the view today is just incredible. Hey dad, I figured I'd give you a walk tour. Um, I think I already showed you, this is, uh, so our tent setups here, this, this one in front of you is uh, Nick and Steve's. This is my Anthony's tent. That is Austin, the fearless leader slash tent hermit. This is uh, Justin Whitman's. This is the cook tent that I accidentally slid and stepped on like a goof. Um, still looking pretty decent, but got to fix that corner up. Um, we're going a little walkie walk. You have the blood splatter from where uh, uh, Justin got bloody nose this morning. This is going to be our little cache. I have decided after getting my butt kicked on the on that hill, you might be able to see two tiny little specks right around in here. Um, going up the hill, that's Nick and Justin. They're going to get a run. I fell pretty hard on the run a few times, so I'm not doing a second run of it, but I'm glad they are. I think it'll be a heck of a time. Um, this is where we're going to cache, um, like dirty clothes, trash, stuff that we don't need to take further up with us. Um, we're just going to leave it here. I'm leaving my skis, those blue ones are mine, and my ski boots. So we're gonna leave those nice and buried. Um, this is our glorious bathroom. Apparently Steve is going to uh, give us a sweet demonstration of the pee hole. That is also the, <laughs> that's a big old salami. That bucket is uh, CMC, that's what we poop in. Anyway, this nicely dug out. Then there's a decent amount of people came in since this morning. So we have a nice little Nice little tent area. Lots of people. All the CMCs, more cook tents. Just a nice, nice little camp vibe. It's chill. It's beautiful. Um, goes all the way up and then there's other caches that you can see over here where there's people left their skis a lot of people leave their uh snowshoes here because from here on out it's kind of cramp on oh yeah 
Justin Austin there, maybe. Hey, Dad. <laughs> We're at. I got some good panels of you guys. The oh, corner man. of Winnie Corner. I just want you to see some of the silliness. Hey, Dad. This part fucking sucked. <laughs> it kind of sucked. <laughs> uh, uh, so you can see the trail. And then you can see our sledge just slide off to the side. Um, Justin's sled was rolling like the entire time. So Justin was walking backwards and I was holding the other end so that we could flip the sled back up every time it tried to roll. And yeah, if you can see back there, it's just... <laughs> oh, you can see Whitman. He's, uh, he's standing way up there and his sled is off to his side. So it's just pulling us down the damn hill. Uh, yeah. The slog to 14. Hell yeah. Do you have any words? What's up? Do you have any words, Justin? You know me. I'm a man of few words, Russ. He's a man of few words. Hey, Dad. Pretty clear day. You asked me to text how big the camp was. And I'm going to do a 360. There's some tents over there, tents there, tents there, tents there, tents there, tents there, and then the majority of the tents that way. If you, I don't know if you can see this little tower over here in the distance. That's the ranger station. So they have a ranger station at 14 that's permanently staffed. Something else that's really cool is, I'm not sure if you can see these little specks heading up the wall here, but that's the, that's the head wall. That's where we're going next to get up to 17. So that is... That is a wall. <laughs> Pretty imposing. You can start to see the, the Bertrands opening up at the top. So we'll, we'll see how it all goes. Hey, Obviously, Bob. Nick. Hey, uh, Mr. Justin over here. Ross. Anyway, that's it. I'm gonna pass off some meds. Hey, Dad. Here I'll show you the outside of our camp a little bit at 14. So this the snow wall perimeter we constructed last night. This is my tent right here. Some of the guys. Full snow wall. All our start sharps are stored. Looks really nice. Set up. I don't know if you can see those dots up there. Some people up here going up to the, uh, the West Rib. It's another route. Here's another view of the West Buttress. It's interesting, you can see the zigzags of the skiers going up, doing these long traverses. And then the straight line up of the boot packers. You can see the line around the Bertrand up there. A little bit of a, uh, little bit of a snow bridge that people, looks like people are walking across. <laughs> It's a, it's a wall. It's a pretty intense punch up. Whole camp is out and about. It is bumping here. It's a beautiful day. Just cannot get enough of this, this view. I was hoping we would get a nice perfect clear one so you could see the Telkeetna range in the back, the Alaska range up front. Haven't, haven't got it yet. I've been keeping my eye out all day, seeing what we can do, but yeah. Oh, you can see the red tents up there. I bet you a good amount of money that that's a uh, one of the guided organizations. Um, anyone that has a bunch of uniform, really expensive tents like that, probably the guided ones, especially those ones. Those are those are heavy tents. So, yeah. It's just, it's just beautiful. It's just nonstop, gorgeous. Steve! Ready to go. So, hey, Dad. I thought I was tired yesterday, or a couple days ago, because of the sled and the backpack. But I have no sled and no backpack. I'm breathing like I'm running my ass off. Anyway, here's the big old ranger station. With their, they have like three dedicated solar cells, four. Pretty big. Then we're going to the edge of the world over there. Take some pictures. 
take some video and stuff. This is the West Rib right here. This rock's going up here. Not what we're doing, but it's one of the options. Anyway, I'm gonna go keep dying by myself. Talk to you later. Oh, well, I, we can go over there and take pictures of you guys here. You gotta be quick too, because we don't want to waste Jonathan's time either, because he'd be uh -huh. super happy to take a we picture of us. Right? Hey, Dad. Getting out and about on our on our rest day. It's pretty late. It's 18:30 or so. So, yeah. It's so beautiful now, though. The winds have died down. It's a different side of camp. This is the ranger station over here. Just tents everywhere. It's a pretty huge camp. This kind of like base camp for the mountain. The weather was pretty rough earlier, but now I'm just in a light micro puff. My hand is even bare. I'm holding the camera with a bare hand. The other one has a good glove on, but it's not even freezing. I'm uh, on the west buttress. Heading towards 17. Today, that fixed ropes. It's brutal every time. Show you the view. It's a, it's a hell of a place. <laughs> you might not be able to hear me. Uh, this is this is camp 17, <laughs> 17k, highest camp in North America, <laughs> and. Yeah, the, the winds have just been rocking all all night. Um, I had my huge sleeping bag, and then I put my parka over my sleeping bag like a blanket. And I felt like a furnace. It was really nice. I was it was, it was kind of cold last night. And then this is a fun thing. So if I touch the walls, it's just frost. Straight like. The walls are frosted, and it's it's noon. I don't know if you can see my image, but this is at noon. At 14k, it's too hot to be inside a sleeping bag at noon. Um, around noon or 13, we were we have these little pockets here, and we were frost all over my hands. We were heating up frozen tortillas. And they defrosted in like how how long did it take those tortillas to defrost? Oh, like, wow. like, like ten minutes? Yeah, like twenty minutes. <laughs> it was so hot we were defrosting tortillas in like twenty minutes. <laughs> like a whole thick stack of them. Um, and it's less windy, I'll show you around the actual campsite. It was <clears throat> this What were those guys? The army or something? I don't know who they were. <clears throat> um some some branch of the military they were allowed to come out here and go for the summit they actually got it the day before yesterday <clears throat> during a really nice weather window and uh they they built a really really nice little compound so anyway they they went down yesterday we came up yesterday and we acquired their beautiful compound and I'll show you around that a little bit later but there was perfectly spot for, perfect spots for our, all four of our tents the snow walls are nice and high they have a little bathroom they have a beautiful entrance way it's it's really nice so yeah I'll show you around that at some point when it's not it's just really uncomfortable to be outside super um, pleasant out here so I didn't really spend a lot of time outside my tent so first, this is the the, uh, the camp that the recon guys made. It's pretty dope. Walls are decently high. This is like 
I feel me comes up to like mid abdomen level. Then you come in. We have all our sharks and, and shovels and stuff, so we don't puncture our uh, puncture our tent. These are our tents, nice and tight together. Walk around, and then you have our little poo bucket, our little latrine. It's, it's a pretty cute little tent, or a cute little setup. This is all it's, it's the summit right there. There's a couple climbers coming down. You might not be able to see them, but just like right here. We're out there. Wait a minute at this moment because. The weather just keep, looks like it's downtrending. And then on top of that, we just have to get out of here before Saturday morning. And that huge storm hits. So, I'm trying to tell myself, you know what, I'm a better person having trained for this, having done this. It's just so goddamn beautiful up here. Um, like, I'm about to flip it. I'm walking closer to the edge. And I'm about to flip it and show you this view. Because I just... I can't even check that out. This. Holy crap! There's a raven! There's a... There's a freaking raven! 17,000 feet, what is this thing doing? Hey, My dad makes crazy. crazy. Maybe they need some human waste. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> Look at that view though. So what are your plans for tomorrow? Um, our current plans for tomorrow, wake up. Are you with this group or with that group? That group. Group. Yeah, military. the military group. Our current plan is to wake up at 7, get water boiling, check the weather again. Mm -hmm. um, with the new report that the rangers just put out, it doesn't even sound like it's worth pushing. Okay. Um, I mean, you heard it uh, from uh, what, Gabby? Yeah. Eight. What did she say? Um, she was calling for 25, uh, 25 to... 40 mile an hour winds and the temperature was like negative 25 to negative 10. Hey dad, a little bit of an action shot. We're hanging on the Autobahn. Right over there is Denali Pass. Then we're gonna head up. Hopefully make it all the way to the summit today. We'll see how it goes. Dad, there's a rule to Denali. Anytime you think you're done, there's one more big Shoo! ass hill. So I thought I was pretty close to the summit. And then we arrive at the football field. It's the football field, it's not a football field. Down there, that's the football field, that big flat thing. And there's a huge ass hill to get to the summit. I'm like, is this worth it? I don't know. We're gonna get back late as hell. We're probably gonna get stormed in tomorrow. Guess we'll figure it out.